This is Twit. Mary Jo Foley, she's at ZDNet. Now a Red Ventures company. Yes. And, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. It, that takes a while, though. You're still... It does. You're still part yeah. of the CBS Viacom Paramount family. Not for too long, but yeah. Yeah. For universe, <laughs> CBS Viacom. That's so confusing. <sighs> And uh, Paul Therott, who is really all out there on his own at therott.com. <laughs> I know. It's like the Titanic sailing by with Mary Jo on it. And I'm holding onto a piece of ice. Sometimes it's better to be holding onto a piece of ice. I just, yeah, it is. Yeah. I just want to say, at least you're already in the water. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, we, we don't know what Red Ventures is going to be like, but that congratulations, I guess. It's kind of interesting because uh, I kind of like it when it, this happens. CBS bought CNET. At all, which includes ZDNet, mm -hmm. for what three billion, three point two billion dollars, selling oh, it yes. off today for half a billion dollars. Yeah, yep. Two, that three, shows you it's oh. happened to our field publishing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but you know what? I'm encouraged by Red Ventures because they seem like they get B two B, which is what we're all about at ZDNet. So I'm like, yeah, I, I think it's going to be encouraged good. too because this means when they sell it, I'll be able to afford to buy it. <laughs> you know what? I was going. I was thinking the I've been through Maybe four you and I sales. Could get together. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I've been through four sales. Um yeah. ZDNet, yeah. CNET, like CBS, blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, here's another one. Here we are. I went so. through this uh same thing at Penton at the company that invented there's always a bigger fish, is what I found out. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's are. like that uh, diagram of the fish eating the fish eating the fish. Yep. Yep. I, yeah. I distinctly remember being at a meeting in Colorado and my tiny little company, which at that time uh, consisted of probably a couple dozen people, the owner and founder announced that he was selling it to whatever the company was at the time. Actually, maybe it was Penton. And he said, no, this is going to be great. It's going to drive the next era of growth. And we all looked at each other like, oh, man, it's, it's like always a countdown great. to extermination. <laughs> it's always <laughs> great. <laughs> it's, like, it's always great. <laughs> well, now, uh, you know, this is good. You're in bed with the uh, points guy. And I other know. fine blogs. So uh, exactly. <laughs> no. If we ever travel again, we'll get some nice You're insider set. tips on You're, traveling. You you are set. Yep. Um, actually, it probably is better to have a, an owner that is a little more dedicated what, than what you're doing than the massive juggernaut yes. that is CBS Fire. <laughs> Just saying. Actually, yeah. yeah. That is the problem, and that's the thing we ran into at whatever bought Penton, uh, you know, or late in Penton. You know, the there's. You're the smallest part of a gigantic company. Right. And yeah. eventually what someone does is they look at a spreadsheet and they're like, all right, we'll get rid of that guy and that guy because they're making too much yep. money. And then, uh, <laughs> you know, they don't really understand the yep, business what you at do. all. Just, yeah, totally. Yeah, and Red Ventures is in the business. I mean, they, they have Healthline, they are. the Points yep. Guy, uh, Bankrate, Reviews.com, CreditCards.com. So they they do this. Although uh, I think this you're going to be the biggest part of it now. This is we're going to be uh, the tech. We're going to be the, the tech, tech hub. The tech hub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, good. I doubt this will change your life at all, Mary Jo. I don't think it will, no. but hopefully not. No. Hopefully not in a negative way. <laughs> right. No. Yeah. Not like when CNET bought ZDNet. That that was a shocker. I bet it was. <laughs> yeah. When I was at Ziff yeah. Davis, and I was only there maybe ten years. Yeah, we went through four. Because it was the fam, was the it was the, uh, you know, the family. Then it was yeah. sold to SoftBank. Mm -hmm. Then it oh, was geez. yeah. What of yeah. SoftBank's many former assets? Yeah. We were. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> then, and then because I, I remember Eric Capo, the CEO, mm -hmm. me leaving a voicemail message on every employee's inbox <laughs> saying, "Oh, just by the way, see ya." <laughs> I hope it was like one of those Ryan Reynolds uh, messages to uh, Mint Mobile subscribers where it's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it was like And that. at the end, he's like, oh, and you're all fired. And you're all fired. <laughs> he didn't say that. He just said, uh, no. today I would proud to announce uh, I'm leaving. <laughs> Good <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. And then after SoftBank, that's I'm when everything got that. chopped up, wasn't it? Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. When ZD, ZD, Ziff Davis went one way and ZDNet went one way. Yeah, because yeah. I was still with Ziff Davis. So <laughs> yeah. they stripped off the website. I said, I waved yeah. goodbye yeah. to Mary Jo. Yeah, the two <sighs> Ziffs, the yeah. brothers. And then there was yep. an there was a, a, a venture investment firm that owned it for a while. And yeah, it was crazy. there's been a lot of owners. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Um, yeah. Thank goodness there's still PC Magazine. That's all I can. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Love going down to the newsstand every Love, month and I pick picking it up. up my new yeah. copy. Yep, the newsstand. Half an inch thick. Yep. 
No, that's Shopper. Oh, I like to get my computer Shopper on. Computer Shopper, the Bible. Light magazine used to be that big, too. PC you know? was twice a month, too. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It was massive. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That was actually a great magazine. And the website's still good. We still... In fact, I At just, least the uh, Boston Computer Society is still there, so we got that going for us. <laughs> DCS. Funny thing, I was talking about user groups on the radio show over the weekend, because I don't think... I think most of the audience has no idea. BCS, BMUG. Yep. Um, Remember, um, you go to like a Tower Records or whatever, and you'd flip through, you know, albums back in the day, and then CDs. At the Boston Computer Society, you could flip through little things like that, but floppies. they were floppies. Floppies. Yeah, yeah. I pick out all these floppies from my Amiga or whatever I had at the time, and there was actually walk out, you know, a seven job, later. a volunteer job at user group meetings, the diskette librarian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, those uh, were the days. Those were the days.